Well, hello. Um, here we are at Genos, Genos 2. Tell by the red lights. What I want to do now is show you how incredibly easy it is to record an orchestral score using the Style Creator, the incredible sounds in the Genos 2, and the simplicity of just building a style based around sort of a movie score sort of soundtrack. So I'm in Style Creator. I'm just about to initialize the style, which is done. So now there's absolutely zero in the style. As you can hear, it's just a metronome. So I'm going to go into Channel, and I'm going to pick Record Drum Track 1, or Part 2, as it were. Uh, and I'm going to go into my um, Cinematic Percussion. Now these things, these drums are just out of this world. Right, so I'm... I'm Setting the tempo at four, four. I'm changing it to four bars, just for this example. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, right. That that's all I'm doing. Record channel one, uh, rhythm two. I'm just going to up the reverb a little bit, and I'm going to change the ambience on the rhythm 2 which is this new feature that Yamaha have incredibly created and it, if you sit here the difference if I turn the, the ambience down to zero it's like the drummer's here except when I say here you can't see the drummer's here if I increase the um, ambience let me just um, in actual fact hang on a second let me just remove the recorded data for that particular ambience depth okay because what i've done is because i'm actually sort of changing the level while it's playing it actually records the changes so if i listen to it now that's where the drum is if i change the ambience level to 127 listen that drum is like filling the massive room and it sounds like i'm at the back of that room instead of being stood next to the drum that's incredible, isn't it? Such a great, great, great effect. Very useful for this sort of stuff. So if I'm recording a um, sort of like a cinematic sort of style, that, that will work brilliantly. Okay, right. So now I want to record some strings. Critical part of the um, rhythmic pattern for the style. So if I go into strings and go to page six. I've got these lovely spiccato string. They are just stunning. There's a whole series of them. They're just, they're just out of this world. Um, so it's a case of finding the voice that you want. And then finding a rhythmic pattern that you want to play with the strings. Now that's obviously a bass. Um, so I'm going to record that. Okay, and this is the tempo. So it's... And then it just loops. It's like, this is like the, um, <laughs> the ultimate looper. You know, I heard Roland make these... Um, sort of rhythmic loopers that you can sort of punch in, punch out, and then it'll... You, you see it a lot with these sort of piano guys. They they sort of use that sort of effect a lot. Um, but this is the ultimate one, because you can do so much with it. Uh, right, okay, so let me just quantize that. Right, okay. So we now got our rhythmic string. I'm going to record a bass, and I'm going to pick something a bit... A bit more sort of synthy than anything else. That will fit nicely. Again, quantize, just tighten it all up. And it's already starting to come together. So now if I record a pad, and I want to record a choir singing ooh. Okay. There we go, 
that's in. Quantize just to make sure it's spot on. It takes seconds to do this. It, the, the key element to this is actually choosing the right voices, knowing what to pick. So, for example, I want to use a nice piano. I want a really low, that sort of thing. And I want a lot of reverb on there. I want a very atmospheric. Now, I can either use the grand piano or I can go in and change. Now, the character grand has too much character. I want a clean... That's great. CFX one octave. Okay. So all I'm going to do is go. That's it. I just want one piano note. I'm setting the tone and the feel. So now I, if I come out of here and just close without saving, I can play. You may find that choir is just too much. It really is. Let's go back in. Let's get rid of the choir. Let's sack the choir. Right, okay. They're fired. They're not working anymore. Right, so there we go. And always remember, when you're doing this... Well, it keeps doing this. I wish Yamaha would fix. When you go into Style Creator, it turns on vocal harmony. I don't want vocal harmony on. Um, when you uh, are building your style, you're building the, with the intent of adding parts. So don't do everything in the first part because otherwise you'll have nowhere to go. So I've got variation A. Perfect. Go to assembly. Uh, go to variation B. And I'm going to say copy the parts from main A. Uh, and this is this is uh, again could be made a lot easier if somebody just had a button that says copy all parts to next variation. Hey ho, you have to sort of work around these little things. Right, okay, so that's now into variation B. So A and B are identical. However, now with B, I'm going to bring in a nice French horn. Um, I've still got my spiccato string doing the rhythmic pattern. So I'm going to go into the French horn. Now this, again, is another thing that bugs the pants off me. Why does it not copy the four? Right, okay. So if you go back into basic, you need to tell it it's pattern length four. And you have to do this with every single damn part. Why can't it just copy... Four bars from A to B. It would make so much more sense. So uh, to do that again, I just go back and sort of say, right, relink from A from B to A. Da, da, da. So I'm just showing you how easy this is, and I'm making it look ever so complicated, but it's not. It really is not. Um, walk in the park. It's just me being forgetful, or shall I say, Yamaha not thinking how the user would use it. Right, now I can go in and record my horn. Finally. Right, so... Now, bear in mind I'm recording a four-bar phrase. Normally I would do eight or sixteen, so that those phrases, like the horn, don't get too repetitive. I'm just showing you the basics here. This is very, very, very quick and very rough. Um, so now we've got a variation with a horn in there. So if I just come out of there, go back to variation A. Variation B. That 
is really starting to sound good. It's it's taken what uh, so far ten minutes, and that's with a mistake. So, you know, be gentle. Um, right, back into the thing again. Now I can go in and pick. Think of your orchestral scores, um, and one of the voices that they have increased, improved on, and here is the Hackbrit. Very um, pronounced in the Gladiator movies. And I can just simply put a little phrase in. And again, if it was 8 bars or 16 bars, it wouldn't be get so repetitive. But for this, I'm just sort of shortening the whole process down. So, come out there. So now I've got the little hackbread plane. If I thicken my strings, add a secondary string voice, which is coming from the Epic Strings pack. Right, okay, so two variations in, 11 minutes. Right, go back to Star Creator. <laughs> that comes back again. Right, so I'm now going to copy the contents of variation B into variation C. Go to Assembly, say Copy B, Copy B, Copy B, Copy B. This is a tedious process. Copy B, Copy B, oh, not A, B, Copy B. It's always um, more uh, nerve-wracking when you're against the clock, so I'm trying to do this quickly just to show you how easy it can be done. Back to record channel. So now we've got the same from B into C. Right, now I'm going to get rid of that piano, and I'm going to add more spiccato strings, but I'm going to... Um, the violin voice strings... Sounds like the news at 10. <laughs> it's amazing what you sort of comes into your head. Right, okay. So I want to back those strings off just a little bit because they are too aggressive, far too aggressive. Right. Do you know what I've done? Same mistake twice. This this just shows you how annoying this is. Right, I've not told it it's four bars, so it's just couple oh dear god. Right, okay, you're proving a point. No, I'm just stupid. Uh right, main B. Main B main B main B Okay, main B. Right, now I can go back and record those strings, which I should have done correctly. Right. Right, so. Starting to sound more like it. Channel 2, turn the volume down because it's too loud. Going to get rid of that French horn because he's getting a bit repetitive. Uh, and then in there, I am... Um, what shall we have? Oh, I know what we'll have. Let's have a uh, orchestral timp. Right, so we'll just have that on the first note. <laughs> we go right come out of there we've now got timpani in the mix now at this point oh at this point i could go two directions 
I can stay with this whole sort of classical theme, or I could bring in a little bit of a synth um, phrase. So let's do that. Let's go into the uh, synth. And I want a nice, something high pitched that cuts through. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's go saw pluck, but what I'm going to do is just quickly come out of there and go to the resonance. Right, okay, so let's back the volume down for this because that's otherwise going to cut somebody's uh, ears off. Right, let's do an arpeggio. No, don't like that at all. Um... Okay, let's just see what, how that comes out. No, don't like it. I uh, should have stuck with the orchestral version. But sometimes it works. Um, but because it's such a quite a laboured rhythm, it's not sort of chopping quickly. Um, let's get rid of that. I don't like that at all. Um, okay, so let's go back. What else can we add in here? Let's go to woodwind. Uh, maybe some Celtic flute. Maybe not, because if I'm going to use that as a lead voice, then that's not a good choice. Um, where are the uh, classic... Okay, let's save that. We're calling this one New Style, so... Right, let's go and pop on our lovely little um, Celtic flute air. section is going da 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 but because it's moving with the chord if I go into the phrase record go to SS, SFF edit and tell it to keep the, the root fixed it shouldn't bounce around too much it should stay around where I recorded the phrase so you say yes okay <laughs> Right, okay, it's coming together. Last thing I'm going to just quickly do, I'm not going to go to Variation Focus 3, is fine. Um, in the Rhythmic section... There's so many amazing sounds in here. Hmm. Nope, nothing in there I can find. I, w I want sort of a, a nice um, shaker to sort of keep the, the rhythmic sort of... 
ticking along. So if I go into production kit, we turn it into a Latin mix, I don't think so. That would be nice with some um, reverb on it. Drum setup. Right, put some more reverb on. Right, that's going to add a little bit of brightness. Nope, 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 don't like that. No, don't like that either. Oh, this isn't going well. Okay, a little rhythmic phrase. There we go. Let's look at this. Right. Now that's way too loud. So I'm just going to go into drum setup and turn these down. Okay, that's not too bad. Go back to my strings. Piano is nice, but it really, it, re it really is killing the party, isn't it? It's bomb. So let's just go into chord two and change the volume on there. Make it a bit more. There we go. That's more like it. A bit more palatable. Uh, okay. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> change the choir on the left hand to a nice string. Do 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 do. Pick the string, pop the string, change the string, voice setting, turn it up an octave. There we go. That's more like it. Want some nice strings in the lower. And of course, with that sort of thumping noise, we can go into the brass. And um, we've got some great concert tutti. Sure about that term, that, that term, um, snare, but anyway. It sounds huge, absolutely colossal. I mean, obviously, it's smothered in reverb like butter. But it's it, it ticks that box. I mean, come on. It 
I, I keep saying this. This thing has gone from level 1 to a level 10 um, just by adding the number 2 onto the end of the genus. Uh, but it, it is just so impressive to make styles. It's so impressive to work with because the whole orchestration, the whole sound package is complete now. I mean, if I sat and decided I wanted to sort of... Da, 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 da. As long as I'm working with a style at the set correct length of bars, I could technically put percussive instruments in wherever I want them. So it, it's a whole incredible way of working because it takes styles to a completely different level with this whole sort of orchestration side of things. And Yamaha, you deserve 10 out of 10 for, for coming up with this sort of idea of these orchestral voices because they are so much better. Absolutely. I say the brass is... Absolutely stunning. French concert French horns. If you don't want to go down the avenue of creating your own um, style, shut up. Why don't you? Why don't you just go into a preset style in movie and show? Pick a theory or movie. Or, I mean, the Desert Adventure is obviously the new end thing. Bring the string in. Constituti on the right. Sorry, I, I'm going to bring the string in when I've just found the string plate. Right, okay. Bring the strings in on the left a bit more. some French horns in and this is all done flat this is not this isn't difficult to do style back in there you go so the the i keep saying this forwards backwards sideways if you're into writing sort of orchestral movie score stuff and you want a scratch pad or something to sort of work with this thing is epic absolutely um and yeah i mean I, I don't want more to say because everything in here sounds brighter bigger f wider it's just it's as i said to you, you you've you i had genos one for six years loved the damn thing still love the damn thing in fact so much so it's sitting looking at me here quite sad but this has come along and wow it's just blown it completely out of the water um if this is anything to go by this will make life easy 
It's, it will. It, it honestly, the thing is easy to operate. As you see, it's very easy to just to sit and create a star. Go into style creator. Oh. If they fix that, I'd be over the moon. Initialized style. Initialized. Right. Okay. So I've got no rhythm. It's all gone again. If I want to create, I don't know, pop pop style. Start the metronome. One, two, three, four. Remove the duplicate notes. That even removes duplicates. Quantize the style. Then bring some hi hat in. Tidy that up. There we go. Right, record a bass line. Pick a bass voice, anything you want. Let's go for something a bit funky. Da, 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 da. Actually, let's delete that. Um, let's just make this four bars because a one bar is no good. Right, so now I can do the bass line. Okay, it's going to loop. So now if I want to stick a pop something or other in there, some synth. Uh, let's just go and pick a voice. Right, come out of there, just to test it. Maybe not a piano, eh? Let's go for something a bit more synth, something a bit more synthy. You know, the sky's the limit. You can do any style. Latin, ballroom. It, making your own content just opens up an absolute world of things. There you go. Right, anyway, 32 minutes. Probably the shortest video I've done in a long time. So I'm going to disappear, but I just wanted to show you how quickly you can do orchestrated, um, orchestrated? orchestrated sort of um, score with, um, with the, the voices in, in the genus. Even the concert trumpets. The whole thing is absolutely amazing. Right, I'll see you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't feel... Oh, hang on. Whoa. Don't forget to click subscribe. Otherwise, you make me cry. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.